Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. A while back, uh, someone had created my home office and faithfully reproduced it in uh, Lego bricks, and I ended up buying it uh, so that I could have my own home office in Lego. Let me go ahead. I'm trying to find a place to put it. Uh, I love Lego. I collect Lego, and I know many of you do as well as geeks. I mean, we all collect something. Some of us do nothing but collect dust. Well, I'm happy to report that there's a new virtual model of a more complete Chris Perillo home office, and this one was created by another fan, and I'm just going to rotate through. Right now, you can't buy these bricks as a set collected, uh, but you can buy them uh, through the pick-a-brick system. It's a little difficult, but I'm going to give you a download for this uh, LXS, L LXF file that you can open on uh, your computer uh, to play with or browse or see my home office in Lego. I would love to be able to assemble that with all the bricks, but going through and putting everything together individually would be kind of a pain in the neck. That is providing the backdrop for an introduction of Series 6 of Lego minifigures. Uh, they've now gone through that many of them, believe it or not, and I am a huge minifig fan. I love the brick, uh, but more than anything, it's the minifig for me. Uh, just a huge fan, and uh, so I wanted to show you what we have here. I'm going to do my best to bring these all in better focus. Uh, they're on the stands that come with each individual minifig. There, it looks like she's got a laser gun. It's a female space trooper and a helmet. She's got, uh, of course, her hair. Uh, so I don't have the helmet on. I'm just going to move them over here for now. Get them out of the way. We have a bandit as well with a couple of pistols. Kind of a dark character and a uh, and handkerchief over his mouth. He's ready to rob you there. Uh, we have a leprechaun with a pot of gold. And yes, that's a pot and it has gold coins inside. Well, not really coins. They're just pieces. There we go. A little luck of the Irish there. And let's, let's not forget about our Scottish friends. We also have a, a Scottish warrior and he's wearing a kilt. If you can tell that. And he's looking quite angry. Almost has a unibrow going on there and a mullet. And I don't know if really, that's not really a mullet, I don't think. But just long hair, as I guess Scottish, Scottish warriors used to have. We have a butcher! And uh, all I need is a candlestick maker, because I already have a baker Lego minifig. He's got a piece of steak there in his hands. And a cleaver. We also have a mechanic rocking the mutton chops. It's the first uh, pair of mutton chops I've seen on a Lego minifig. Kind of nice. I got this uh, complete set on eBay for, I thought, a pretty good price. And we have a genie with his lamp. See if I can get it in the light there. I'm trying to put it in... I'm, I'm, the problem with getting it in the light is I, I have to stay in the background. Otherwise, th this won't come in focus. And this is the subject of the video, the Lego minifig. Uh, we have a, a punk chick skateboard. She actually, this Lego minifig reminds me of someone that I, I know, one of the uh, leading uh, females on Google+, Plus, Lynette. Uh, Alright, we also have a gray, an alien there with a, a laser gun. I think it's easier. Oh, wow. God, I need to clip my fingernails. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I'll do that next time. <laughs> Here's a minotaur. He's got a axe, like a minotaur. We also have a wind-up robot. I'm, I'll show you the back of him there. That uh, doesn't actually wind or do anything in particular. There's the front, the robot minifig. Now you can have a robot invasion or a robot parade. Robot parade. Uh, it looks like a centurion. Huge shield. And a spear. Rock in the shield there. We have a surgeon, or at least someone who's prepped for surgery, including an x-ray. And a gigantic shot, or a needle. It's not sharp on one end, it's a Lego needle. We have, I would believe this would be kind of a, a singer of sorts. What do you think she is? A singer? She's kind of shy, she's got a fan going on there. Or a performer, potentially. Lounge singer, performer. Uh, we have a Statue of Liberty. 
Now, the thing that makes uh, these minifigures special is they've never been produced anywhere else. You can't get them in, in sets. You can only buy them individually. Then we have a, a sleepy kid just woke up, the sleepy boy with a little teddy bear, and his hair's all unkempt. His hair's like mine. Kind of fun. And I believe that I believe that's it. I believe that's uh, all that we have in the list. Um, yeah, okay, got that. That one, 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 that one. Yep. So I'm very happy uh, with this. I've collected all six series. Of course, I've had other minifigures, including ones that I showed off earlier in the live broadcast. Uh, I got this one uh, that is like the Lego Justin Bieber. This is uh, the Lego Club mascot from a while back. I may have to like, hold him up like this. I have to block out my head in order to keep him in focus. There we go. Doing my best, folks. Doing it live. Uh, I also have a handful of older Lego minifigs that or posed sitting down um, that uh, TX Wolfhawk, who I haven't seen in a couple weeks, uh, sent me. Uh, some part of the old uh, Castle Ninja series. Classic minifigs. Uh, this is not a part of the newer Ninja sets, but uh, the older classics. And he sent me a handful, and I'm very, very grateful for that. Uh, not because I love uh, n Ninja uh, as much as I love Lego minifigs. And so I had to throw those in there while I was doing the Lego Minifig Series 6 collection. Trying to get that in focus. Unfortunately, it was trying to focus on the background screen with all of the people from Nomies.com. You can join us there. We have other adult fans of Lego. Uh, and if you're an adult fan of Lego, well, then you are welcome to join us in our greater community. And it is, by the way, a great community. So thumbs up for me. That's my review of the Lego Minifigure Series 6 as if I was going to give it a thumbs down. As if anybody could give it a thumb down. How could you not like Lego minifigs? How? Well, <clears throat> anything else? No? We're good?